Hello students, now come to the first exercise 6.1 of this chapter, question number A, first question, complete the table. So I have not drawn the table here, but see here, and this is a triangle, number of equal parts, how many equal parts we have, 1, 2, 3, so it is 3, fraction of colored part, how many part is colored, only one part is colored out of 3 parts, so 1 by 3, fraction of uncolored part, these two parts are not colored out of three parts. So two by three and parts needed to make one whole. So how many parts required to make one whole? All three parts are required. If I shed all three parts, it will become whole. So for three equal parts, we required three uh, parts here. Okay. Now for this case, how many parts, how many equal parts we have? Here we have four equal parts. How many parts are colored? We can see two parts are colored out of four part so we can write two by four or simply we can write half okay now how many parts are uncolored means what is the fraction of uncolored part two parts are not colored uncolored out of four part so here also two by four equal to we can say half part is half fraction means half part is not colored and how many parts are required to make a whole all four parts are required to make a whole so four parts we will write here okay now Come to this picture, 3. Here, how many parts? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 part is there. Okay. And how many, what is the fraction of colored part? Only one part is colored. So, 1 out of 4. So, 1 by 4. And how, what is the fraction of uncolored part? 3 parts are not colored out of 4 parts. So, 3 by 4. We will write 3 by 4. And how many parts are required to make a whole? All 4 parts are required. All 4, if I shade it, it will become a whole. So, all four parts okay now come to four parts question number four how many parts we have one two three four five six seven eight so total eight part is there what is the fraction of colored part three part out of eight part so three part out of eight part is colored what is the fraction of uncolored part so uncolored one two three four five five are uncolored so five out of eight so 5 out of 8 is uncolored. And how many parts are required to make a whole? See, we need all the parts. If I shed all the parts, it will become whole. So 8 parts. So it is 8 here. Now again, in question number 5, see. Here also, how many parts we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 part is there. So 8 equal part is there. How many part is colored? See, 3 part is colored. So 3 out of 8 will be the fraction of colored part. 3 out of 8. And what will be the fraction of uncolored? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 5 by 8 will be uncolored. And how many parts are required to make a whole? So all 8 parts should be shaded. So 8 parts are required. So we will write 8 here. Now come to the last one. Question number 6. How many parts we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So 12 part is there. From this 12 part, how many parts are colored? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 part are colored means the fraction of colored part will be 6 by 12 or you can say half. 6 one is 6, 6 to 12. So half part is colored. What fraction will be uncolored? See uncolored is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. For here also 6 by 12 that is half. And how many parts are required to make a whole? So all 12 parts should be shaded out. So we need 12 parts. So 12. So, so I think you have understood this part. Question number A is very simple and clear. Thank you.